Hello everybody, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and in this quick tutorial I want to describe to you and demonstrate how to write your very first WordPress plugin. Uh, the plugin world can be a little bit scary and intimidating if you've never jumped in before, but if you read my quick little intro to my own experience with getting into the WordPress plugin world, it's not that scary and it's actually in many cases much much easier than actually the theme development world. Uh, so if you've been playing around with theme development uh, but you've never really gotten into plugins, this is for you. Um, it's really actually pretty simple and so what I'm going to show you is how to start out with your very first plugin. Um, so what we're first going to do is we're going to create a PHP file inside of our WP plugins folder and you can see that I have mine here and it's called myfirstplugin.php uh, this is going to be your main plugin file and it should be named after your plugin uh, with no no punctuation no capitalization no no spaces etc so hyph hyphens or underscores and then we're going to open that file and it is going to have some header information. This header information right here is actually what defines your plugin as a plugin. At its base, a plugin is nothing more than a group of functions, uh, PHP, JavaScript, etc., um, that are all included together and they are made into a plugin by this header information. So without this header, your plugin is, is nothing. But with this, it becomes a plugin. So, what this is is simply a set of information that tells WordPress hey this file and anything that it may be referencing is a plugin so it has a couple pieces of very important information number one is the plugin name um, this is what your plugin is going to be called so in this case it's my first plugin and that's how it's going to show up in the WordPress plugins page uh, next is the plugin URI this is going to be the web address to your plugin page so if you have a page dedicated on your site to your plugin that's what this is going to be in this case in my case it's actually pointing to the this tutorial um, second third is the description this is what's going to show up next to the plugin title uh, that describes what this plugin does in the plugins page fourth is the author who wrote the plugin in my case Pippin Williamson uh, next is the author URI and this is going to be your your home page as the developer so in this case this is pippinsplugins.com and lastly is your version number uh, this version number can be whatever you want uh, in my case uh, it's 1.0 if you want you can do 1.0 dash beta uh, you can do 0.1 and this is the number that's going to change as you release new versions of your plugin so this is always showing the latest version okay that's it our plugin is technically active it is available to WordPress so if we go over here to the WordPress page plugins page you'll actually see it right here it's called my first plugin you see this is my first WordPress plugin it's version 1.0 by Pippin Williamson and you can see that links to pippinsplugins.com and you can visit the plugin site which is going to this tutorial okay now we can go ahead and click activate now our plugin is active so what that means is that anything that we place inside of this file is now available to all of WordPress. That means the current active theme, any other plugins that are active, and anything within this plugin. Um, so what we can do now is we can drop a function in here that does whatever we want. Um, an example of this is that a couple days ago I wrote a tutorial about how to customize the contextual help tab in WordPress. Uh, if you wanted to, you could drop that complete function into this file and that would do the modifications for you rather than putting it into your themes.functions.php um, you can do anything you want I'm gonna show you a really quick example that doesn't do a whole lot and is not actually a good idea but it will be the easiest way to demonstrate to you how this works so this is a quick little function that I wrote called plugin test and all it does is echo out the words hello world and then kills everything basically um, so this is not a good idea for a variety of reasons but it really demonstrates to you that this plugin is active so if we go over here to our WordPress now and refresh the page we see hello world everything else is gone but we can see hello world uh, so we're gonna get rid of that real quick because we want to restore WordPress and there it is okay so you can see that this plugin is active anything I put in here is available to WordPress so this is the basics of what a WordPress plugin is uh, I hope this gets you started in writing your plugins I'm gonna be expanding this on how to write bigger better more advanced plugins uh, but anyway I hope you like it thanks for watching